There's always the question about whether or not I should replace my timing belt. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do a quick check to see what your condition of your timing belt is. Um, it's a fairly simple process. It's a matter of removing four screws and pull it, removing a cover and you can look at your belt. This is a 2001 Hyundai Sonata. First thing we want to do is always remove your negative battery cable first. That way you don't inadvertently short something out by grounding the system. I will do that first. Make sure you don't main reason you want to do the negative first is if you're doing the positive and you inadvertently hit something metal you'll short it out. So we're going to take the negative off first that way the battery's not grounded. Then we can take off the positive side. This one's a little corroded. It's always a good idea to um, put some oil or rather a little bit of Vaseline or a little grease on your battery terminals to eliminate corrosion. This one's been on for quite a while so that's not too terribly bad. I'm going to take the positive loose just for safety's sake. Really, as long as you have the negative loose you'll be alright. And that's a pretty clean terminal considering. If you have a lot of corrosion or a loose terminal it'll cause your battery not to charge while the car is running and eventually your car will slow, start turning over really slow or it won't start at all. So it's a good idea to make sure your battery terminals are clean. And like I said, you can put a little bit of either petroleum jelly or Vaseline. Just a very, very fine film. Not even enough that you can really see it once you wipe it off. Or a little bit of bearing grease. Okay. Come over here. I've already loosened the screws on this cover. There's four screws. There's one here, they're 10 millimeters. And we'll get this one. I'll reach down here and grab that one. Take that one out. And rotate this cover. Pop it up. Okay, you can see in here a lot of dust from the uh, timing belt. If you look on the front of the cover, you can actually see there's a little bit of that brownish dust. It's a good indication that you've got some wear. Gonna lay the cover on my little workbench here for right now. Got all my tools laid out that I need for the moment. Okay. Look under here, you'll see there's a lot of dust on this. What's really interesting, if you can get down here to see it, is there's several teeth missing on this belt. This car was, when you started it up in the morning, it was making a rotational noise, and uh, figured finally I wanted to go ahead and check it. It's got a lot of slack in it, but the teeth missing is, is this is a matter of time this car was fixing to go in the shop for a couple of thousand dollars repair job. It's got 134,000 miles on it. Last time this was replaced it had 60,000 miles on it. The crankshaft position sensor went out on it and I looked, researched it on Hyundai's website and they had a couple of cars that had this problem with the crankshaft position sensor, took it to the dealership, and they went ahead and replaced the timing belt. Uh, it was a $700 repair job. Hyundai did a customer rewards with me, um, and uh, basically a $700 repair job. I sent the bill to the receipts to them, and they sent me a check. So uh, they got they have a 60,000 mile warranty on their car. I think I was just over 60 actually and um, on the engine bumper to bumper it's transferable between owners and they also have a hundred thousand mile uh, warranty powertrain 
and uh, haven't had any real problems. It's been a really, really good car. Uh, I'm pretty much always been a Chevrolet man, General Motors. Uh, just nothing against Ford. I just Chevrolets are a lot easier for me to work on, and uh, a 350 engine can pretty much do anything with it, and people do, and that's why they're fairly cheap to work on if you're doing it yourself. Anyway, um, four bolts. That's all it took to check this out. Didn't really do anything else to the car other than loosen the battery terminal. You can save yourself a lot of money and a lot of worry as wondering whether or not my timing belt's fixing to go. This car is running. I just drove it, oh, probably over the holiday, probably about mm, 300, about almost a thousand miles, and it was running. But uh, it was making a little roaring noise when you started it up and I figured it was time to check it. So don't let this happen to you. You want to get it done before it fails because you'll end up bending valves and having to have the head rebuilt or replaced.